Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today is day 25 of our Body, Mind, Soul 30 Days of Yoga Transformation Challenge. And today we're doing a practice for the full moon, which is supposed to be occurring today, the full moon in Leo. And it's supposed to be a good time for a culmination, romance, and relationships, and also an emotional time. So we're going to be tapping into our sacral chakra which houses our emotion and our heart chakra for romance and relationships and our third eye chakra for culmination so let's go ahead and get started in a comfortable seated position and today we're going to use the dhyani mudra so we're going to rest our right palm in front of our left palm hands facing upward palms facing upward and touch the tips of our thumbs together and we'll just start with some breath. So you can close your eyes or lower your gaze to the floor. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Take another deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And come back to your natural breath. Releasing any control over the breath. As we spend our first few moments here preparing our minds and bodies for this full moon in Leo practice. We hope to bring about culmination and strengthen romance and relationships in our lives. Let's take another inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Let's come up to hands and knees and sit back for Balasana. So go ahead and bring your knees close together. Float the hips back towards the heels. Extend the arms forward and melt the chest down. Maybe your forehead comes down to the ground. And of course, feel free to keep your hips a bit lifted if sitting back towards your heels is difficult. Uh, take an inhale in your child's pose, your balasana. Exhale, come up to thunderbolt pose, vajrasana. So we're just in a kneeling position right now. If it doesn't feel good to sit back on your heels, come to a table position and you can kind of just rock back and forth. But if it feels okay, we'll come to thunderbolt. You can just rest your hands in your lap. Palms facing upward if you like. Take an inhale. Exhale, float your body forward. Come to a table position. Let's do Marjariyasana and Bidalasana cat cow fingers spread wide hands underneath shoulders knees underneath hips inhale arch the spine flip the tailbone upward drop the belly down lift the chin exhale round the spine tuck the tailbone under bring the chin down to the chest Good. inhale back to cow arching the spine lifting the chin Exhale, back to cat. 
Good. Keep moving with your breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Let's do a couple more rounds. Good. Come back to a neutral spine. From here, we'll step our right foot up in between our hands and extend the arms up for Anjaneyasana low lunge. So try to have sort of a 90 degree angle here with your right knee. Arms are extended up, but shoulders are relaxed. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend at the elbows, cactusing the elbows, let the palms face outward. Uh, maybe you find a small back bend here. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down on either side of the front foot and start to shift your weight back for Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. So you can let those right toes point up towards the ceiling. Maybe you find a little bit of a rock side to side. Uh, inhale. Exhale, bring that right foot flat again. And we'll step the right foot back and do that on the other side. So step the left foot up in between the hands. Inhale the arms up for Anjaniyasana. Good. Exhale, cactus the elbows. Maybe you find a small back bend. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down on either side of the front foot and start to shift your weight back for Ardha Hanumanasana. Left toes point up towards the ceiling. Inhale in your half split. Exhale, bring the left foot flat. Step the left foot back. And then from here, we'll come to down dog. So tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up and back for down dog. Good. Press the chest towards the thighs. The heels towards the ground. Keep your spine nice and long. Keep your back flat. From our down dog, we'll take an inhale, extend that right leg back. You can also do this down from your knees. If you like, you can bend that right knee. Lower the right shoulder down. Opening up that right hip with three leg dog. Exhale, step the right foot up in between the hands, staying on the back toe. Make a nice 90 degree angle here, knee over the ankle. You can widen your stance a bit to hips distance apart. And then we'll inhale the arms up for Ashta Chandrasana High Lunge. Good. I'm going to scoot back just a little bit. Take an inhale in your high lunge. Exhale, start to shift your weight forward. We're going to come to balance on the right leg. So you can keep your left toe grounded to help you balance if you need to. We're going to bring these arms back with our palms facing downward. Moving into the Kasana airplane pose. So you can stay more upright, again, using that left toe for balance. Or start to lower your body down, becoming more parallel with the ground. Find your jishti, find a focal point to help you balance somewhere on the ground here. Good. Inhale. Exhale, start to come back to a standing position. And then we'll come to Vriksasana, tree pose. So you can let the left toes rest on the ground and the heel rest on the ankle. Or you can slide the foot up to the calf or bring it up to the thigh. As long as you're above or below the knee, you're just fine. You can keep your hands here or bring them to heart center. But if you're able to, we'll bring the hands up overhead with the palms together. Again, find your jishti, your focal point. Let that left hip open up, so let that left knee open to the side.
Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. Big step back with the left foot. Bring the hands down on either side of the right foot. Come to a lunge position. And then we'll step the right foot back, coming to plank. And you can either push straight back to your down dog or move through a vinyasa. We're moving through a vinyasa. Lower down halfway all the way for chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Take a couple breaths here. Let's do the other side. So start to extend that left leg back. Inhale. If you like, bend that left knee. Open up the left hip. Three leg dog. Exhale. Step the left foot up in between the hands. Left knee over the ankle. Staying up on the right toe. Sweep the arms up. Ashtachandrasana. High lunge. Good. Inhale here. Exhale. Shift your weight into the left foot. Swing those arms back, palms facing downward. Use this right toe for stability or start to lower down for Dekasana airplane. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. Come to standing. Inhale, let's make our way to Vriksasana. Remember those three options you have. Just make sure you're above or below the knee. Inhale, you can let the arms come up above you with the hands meeting. Or your hands could stay at heart center. Open up the right knee here. Find your jishti. Find your focal point. Take another inhale. Exhale, big step back with the right foot. Come to a lunge position. We'll step this left foot back and move through our vinyasa. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, auto mukashvanasana, down dog. Take a few breaths here. Good. From here, bring your gaze up in between your hands. Step, jump, float, or handstand the feet outside of the hands. And then we'll come to Malasana. So bring the hands to heart center, elbows inside of the knees. Let those toes point more forward. You may be up high, or if you can lower those hips down, feel free. And if your heels come up, that's okay. Keep your spine long, chin parallel to the floor. Knees press into elbows, elbows press into knees. Now you can stay just like you are, or you can move into this bound revolved malasana. So if you'd like to, you can wrap this right arm around, the left hand comes behind, and you can grab that left wrist with the right hand and look over to the left. Uh, inhale, exhale, hands come back to heart center. We'll do that on the other side. The left arm wraps around, right hand comes behind, grab the right wrist with the left hand. Look over to the right. Uh, inhale. Exhale, come back to center again. A couple more breaths here. 
this becomes intense, feel free to rest in a seated position. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're going to bring the hands behind us, coming to a reverse tabletop. So hands come behind, start to lift the hips up. You can let the head fall back. Maybe you do a little rock here, forward and back. If this doesn't feel good, feel free to skip it. Or you can keep the hips grounded and just press through the hands. Maybe in a staff pose. Staff pose looks like this. So whichever you like. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, shift your weight forward, lower the hips down. Keep the hands where they are, kind of get into this shoulder stretch. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Make your way to a seat with those legs extended. Let's bring the legs out wide. I'm gonna face the side so I have some more room. Bring the legs out wide, flex the toes back towards you. We'll sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, lower the right hand down. Extend the left arm up and over towards the right. Good. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower the left hand down, extend the right arm up and over. Do a couple more each side, inhale up, exhale, bend to the right. Inhale up, exhale, bend to the left. One more time each side, inhale up, exhale right. Inhale up, exhale left, good. Let's inhale center, exhale, bring the hands down to the ground and walk them forward a bit. Maybe even come down to your forearms. Inhale, exhale, start to walk the hands back to an upright position. Use your hands to help bend your knees. We'll bring our legs back together and make our way down to our back, scooting our hips close to our heels, making your way down. You can hug your knees into your chest to start, rocking side to side. Let's release the arms out to our sides. Knees come up over the hips. Cross the left leg over the right leg and let both knees fall over to the right. Look, look up to the ceiling or over to the left. Let's take an inhale, exhale, bring the knees back over the hips. Let's cross right leg over left and let both knees fall over to the left.
let's take an inhale exhale back to center hug the knees back into the chest rocking side to side let's bring the arms inside of the knees and grab the outside of the feet for this recline kind of bound angle pose you can rock side to side here inhale exhale hug the knees back into the chest one last time curl your body into a ball exhale release to shavasana and you can always come up to a seated position if you like let's come back to the long slow breaths we used at the beginning of class a deep inhale through the nose exhale out the mouth take a second deep inhale through the nose exhale out the mouth Good. One more deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. And come back to your natural breath. Releasing control over the breath and letting it flow through your body as it normally would. And while you're here, I'll say some full moon in Leo affirmations to you, which you can repeat silently to yourself or aloud. I am surrounded by love. I choose healthy relationships. My life is abundant. I am surrounded by love. I choose healthy relationships. My life is abundant. Take an inhale, breathe in those affirmations. Exhale, begin to wiggle the fingers and toes. Coming back into your body and back into the room. And when you're ready, roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. Just taking a moment here to reflect on your practice. To revisit any of those affirmations. And to extend gratitude towards yourself for practicing self-care and self-love today. And when you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seat. And together, we'll sweep the arms up overhead. Inhale, hands meet. 
Exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for this full moon in Leo practice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this video. Check the links in my description box about joining my channel as a member, my DJ channel, and Black Yogi Nico Marie merch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace and love.